Hey, we're filming. Um, Kevin Kaufman, it's Fred Weaver from Group 4610, Arizona's premier short stuff. We're in the same sponsor today. Yeah, it's the same sponsor. Today. Same corporate sponsor today. Thanks a lot. We should get free burritos yeah, for We're that. Group 4610, Arizona's premier short sale. That Same. one. Arizona's premier short sale. Team. And this is Short Sale Power Hour. This is Short Sale Power Hour, and uh, I'm Kevin. You're Fred, Fred, right? I just did that just to be funny. Do you ever notice how people mess the, our names up? Because we're at Meg Agent Camp this week. Yeah, and, and I'm getting called Fred like 10 times a day. I know. I'm going to wear a name tag that says I'm not Kevin. That's or, what I'm going to do. Or here's Usually the other one. says I'm not Fred. Here's the, here's the other one. Which one are you? Yeah, that's I, what, I get that all the time. Which one are you? Yeah. Which one are you? Um, I don't know. Are you talking about between like my sibling and myself, or no. you mean between You're me and Fred? Like your brother. Do you, I mean what? What do you mean? Which one am I? So Kevin, today's Wacky Wednesday, and that's why I did that. Just it to is throw wacky. people off. Completely wacky. Wacky Wednesday. So Kevin, what's the most wacky story you got to share with us this week? Um, I started getting secure emails from Wells Fargo today. Secure emails? Okay, so it, it, who's who's worked a file with Bank of America? Okay. Um, and Citi's doing it a lot. City, And now Wells Fargo. All of us, I'm getting these emails from them. There's a couple people where, at Wells that send secure emails. Where I'm having to sign into uh, to their secure server to be able to read my email from them. What is the deal with that? I don't know. That's wacky. My, you know what I really enjoy, and there's some people at Bank of America that do this a lot. When you send over, like in the subject line, you know how organized I am with all my emails. This is a great tip for those of you out there. I always write the subject line of my email as standard. It's loan number, and then the number, and then in parentheses, it's the street name, and then comma the last Sounds name of the name. borrower, and end of parentheses. And I do it that way because then my emails are organized. So when people reply back to me, if I ever want to go find yeah, exactly. the emails, then I've got it there. But I always love when that, like, there's some people at Bank of America that, uh, I Change don't know, it. apparently aren't allowed to, like, have the loan number in the subject line. And they always, like, reply back and they change the loan number. Yeah, I love that, too. That's kind of wacky. Well, like, the, I've noticed they just start using the, uh, the, um, the seller's name instead of a loan number or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, silly. So we're talking about emails today on Wacky Wednesday. Oh, we are. Apparently. Okay. Okay. And uh, you actually just gave away the, the best tip, but um, cer certainly that's something that you've got to do if you're sending emails back and forth to to lenders. And I sure hope you're sending emails if you're working on a short so far, because if you're dependent on the phone, then you're going to be lost nowhere, guys. Like you need to get the contact information for your negotiator and contact them via email as well. But one of the things that we're seeing is. Number one, the banks all have a different way of handling them. Yeah. A lot of them are going to this secure email server, like like it's top top secret information they're sending. I don't know, um, but I mean, what do we we use email for so many different things? We we use it for getting the approvals, for for getting HUD requests. Oh, email is the everything. communication method of the bank. But so you talked like about say. making them standard, which is something that yeah. you and I have always done. So that I mean, there's a there's simple things you want in there. You want to have the loan number, seller's name. Yeah, I know you don't do it, but I also I like to put the street number. Sure. And so like one, two, three, Main Street, comma, last name. The point is, is we both have a system, so they're easily they're easy to find. They're easy yeah. for us to reply to. We know exactly what they're talking about. Well, and being that this is Wacky Wednesday, we'll give some wacky ideas around emails as well. Okay? okay. So one of the wacky ideas that I like to do, and in honor of um, last Monday being Labor Day. I would encourage you guys on the next major bank holiday to send an email to your negotiator, send emails to the vice presidents and potentially even the CEOs of major banks out there and, and wish them a happy Labor Day or a Just happy wish them a Thanksgiving happy. or whatever it is. Uh, the reason I recommend you do that yes, is because is a, solid one. a lot of these banks out there um, are encouraged to have auto responders on their emails, Kevin. And over the holiday weekends, especially, a lot of them go on vacation and they don't work on yeah. the holidays, the bank holidays. And so they have autoresponders that say, I'll be out of the office from blah, blah, blah day to blah, blah, blah day. In the interim, please contact, contact so and Contact this so. person for this department, and, this person for that department. Yeah, and when you start really emailing people that are high up, VPs inside the banks, their emails start saying, contact so-and-so for the Fannie Mae First Lean Liquidation Department or contact so-and-so for the VA and FHA First yeah. Lean Short Sale Department. So. Uh, one of the greatest ways that we've ever gotten contact information from people at banks is by sending emails out on holiday uh, type, you know. Yeah, you guys. Days that, that's actually the year. one of the best ways to obtain massive amounts yeah. of contact information. Now, Labor Day may not be the best, but in honor of you know Thanksgiving coming up here, not too not too far from now. I mean, wow. sixty plus days or so, it's but not that it's far not away. that far away. And then the Christmas holiday, of course. 
Um, Christmas is the best. Th- those are everybody. Those off. are excellent times to prepare uh, some emails. So maybe you want to make yourself a note right now that on Wacky Wednesday, while we're giving away great email tips, that you send an email to some of your best contacts. And again, don't even ask about a file. Just wish them Just a wish happy, them a happy whatever. Yeah, happy Labor Day, happy yeah. Halloween, whatever the case is. Yes, that is one good way to collect tons of contact info all at once. Yeah. I mean, in fact, I've done that before with a, with a bank that will remain unnamed on the show. Yes. And are. I've I've received back an email that said so and so's phone number and email is, and they're over this portfolio. So and so's phone number and email is they're over this. I got like five or six portfolios at this large bank, Kevin, where they actually gave me like. So all these people's information. And then what you can really do if you want to even go one step further is figure out where those area codes are, right? The phone number area codes. So if you see like, you know, um, nine, 614. 614, for example, Columbus, Ohio. Oh, that bank had, that bank's Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae files get handled out of Columbus, Ohio. Oh, that bank also handles Freddie and Fannie outside of, 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 of Wisconsin, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And oh, their, uh, their previous um, Nine, seven, company two. that they took over, 904, 904 in the Florida area yeah, or South Carolina right area is, is here. So it's really a great way to find out like locations of banks as, as well and right. where their different departments are across the country. And honestly, all that information helps. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, knowing that the Fannie Mae files aren't necessarily going to get you an approval on any specific deal, but it's going to help you understand um, somewhere in the future when you're working yeah. more files with them, hey, if this is a Fannie Mae loan, it needs to be worked out of that office, and therefore it needs to be set up in that yep. office, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, just like we say in our class, the more you understand about the overall picture, oh, yeah. um, the better the better off you'll be, the easier this game will be, even though there may be some some little tidbits that they seem in, insignificant, it's the sum of all those things together that really build up. And it's being willing to send out the happy Thanksgiving email um, just because you want, you With know. With a big emblem of a, you know, a super fat, good looking, smiling turkey. turkey. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, number one, you're saying thank you and extending a good gesture, but number two, you're getting tons of contact information behind um, back to you. So you gotta be willing to do those extra things uh, to master this yeah. universe. I think we can wrap up Wacky Wednesday. I, I feel like so. the last minute you were just talking to Phil Time. I really it was even, really good it, though. Honestly, it, it's not it. like one of those like presidential debates where you just like kind of fill time and you just you know you're just talking. You know, it's funny you say presidential debates. Oh I was, boy, really? I was, you're gonna burst into another story? No, no, I'll save it. Okay. For tomorrow's episode? No, I gotta remember. Um, I, I was at a Frank Caliendo uh, uh, comedy show in okay. Vegas, and he's working on President Obama's um, oh, okay. impersonation, and so he's got a few of them down. It's really funny, but he's he hasn't mastered it yet, like yet President Bush. Or, he's working on it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's so, it. if you want to hear more stories about Frank Caliendo and Wacky Wednesday, join us in Baltimore, Maryland, and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, on our events page. We're heading to those areas in October, and then we'll be in Southern California in November. And you can check us out. And uh, I don't know what Frank had anything to do with that, other than Kevin could give you an update on how Frank's coming. He's funny still. You ready to go, buddy? Yeah. Wrap it up. Yeah. One, two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. See you tomorrow!